So Sunday night football. Let's go on and dive into this one. Sunday night football, we have got the Cowboys heading to Minnesota. Take on the Vikings. Vikings are a three-point underdog at home. Total of 55. Vikings 5-1 and one against the number of the last six against the Cowboys. The the Cowboys here are 5-0 and oh against the spread. Or sorry, 6-0 and oh against the spread in their last six games. They are rolling so far this year. I think I even wrote that number down. I think, I think they have not lost. I think they've covered every game this season. The Cowboys have. And I kind of expect them to do it again here. I'm going to roll Cowboys minus three. The Vikings, you know, got a got a much needed win a couple weeks ago or last week, whatever it was. I even with the, I don't know, man. I don't know what to make of this. Like I, <laughs> I'm going to take the Cowboys minus three. All right. I think their offense is significantly better than the Vikings, and their defense is playing well right now. Diggs has been unbelievable at cornerback. I I'm going to take the Cowboys and. And I feel I feel all right about this. So I'm I'm rolling with that. What uh what you got here? The only logic for this is, is that all good things must come to an end and this line stinks like shit. There's no reason on earth for the Cowboys to be a three point favorite here. The the Cowboys should be a substantially better, bigger favorite than three points. They just should. Well that, that, Well, all right, so so it, not totally, right? So let let's give two points for home field advantage. And and if you look at the analytics, Minnesota is number 12 in total DVOA. Dallas is number five. Uh, but if you go offense versus defense, Minnesota's offense is actually number 12. Like, they've been insanely efficient. They had not put a bunch of points up on the board, uh, but they're number 12 in offensive efficiency, and Dallas's defense is number 10. And then if you look on the other side, Dallas's offense is number three in offensive efficiency in total DVOA, and Minnesota's defense is actually number six in the NFL. So it's it's not that outlandish, but I, I I know you can't see right now, but I'm just rolling the shit out of my eyes <laughs> because I don't care. Okay, I watch these teams play football, Gary. That's I watch same. them play football, and Dallas is so far, far, far better than Minnesota. But somebody in Vegas thinks that this game is going to be a lot closer than that. Yeah, I think you're I'm right. I'm going with those guys. Okay, so you you go. I also the I also would venture to say that. I don't know, come close to game time, 70, 80% of the, the whole world will be on the Dallas Cowboys. So I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with, I think the house is going to need the Vikings and I'm going to go with the house. That's, that's my only logic. Do that, that what you want. That would, that would make sense. Let me, let me make sure that the line has not moved since we've, since we've been talking. Nope. Nope. It's, it's actually Cowboys minus three and now it's juiced at minus one Oh five. So uh, we shall see. We shall see. You know, I feel good about the Cowboys, but I can I can understand why the line would be where it is just based on numbers. But yes, the Cowboys are a, a just way better team, way better team. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G Anini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.